Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Oaken for Columbia Matters. This month we're talking about skin cancer and with me is area dermatologist Dr. Cheryl Bansell. Cheryl, tell us about how frequently you see skin cancer. What's the general incidence in the population? Well, skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in this country. May is Melanoma Awareness Month. How common is melanoma? Melanoma is becoming more and more common. Um, the incidence rate is actually increasing very substantially, but the mortality rate is staying the same, which basically means that we are getting better and better at detecting and treating melanoma earlier. So let's talk about how somebody can recognize a funny looking mole. Sure. We talk about the ABCs of melanoma and funny looking moles. And it's an easy way to remember. A stands for asymmetry meaning if you were to look at your mole and draw a line down the middle, one side of your mole doesn't look the same as the other. That's, that's a worrisome sign. B stands for border. So if your border is notched or jagged or otherwise irregular, it's not a smooth contour, that's a worrisome sign. C stands for color. Most moles are tan or dark brown or otherwise homogeneous in their color. If your mole is blue, black, red, tan, brown, multiple colors, that's a worrisome sign. D stands for diameter. Basically, the gauge that we use is six millimeters or the end of a pencil eraser. If your mole is bigger than that, that could be a worrisome sign. And then finally, E stands for evolving. Is your mole changing? Is it growing? Is it bleeding? Is it itching? Those could all be worrisome signs. So a patient has a funny looking mole and it needs to be biopsied. Walk us through how that happens in the office. Sure. Basically what we do if we find a funny looking mole, we would numb the area first and then take a small scalpel or a tiny punch biopsy tool, depending on the size of the mole and where it was on the body, and take just the mole, put a stitch in or otherwise uh, care for the site as soon as the mole was taken off, send it off to the lab, and they would give us a result in about a week or so and then we'd be able to figure out if there was any further treatment that was necessary. The two other types of skin cancer that you're always looking for are the squamous cell cancers as well as the basal cells. Talk a little bit about that. Well, basal cell carcinoma itself is the most common skin cancer diagnosed in this country, about 1.3 million cases annually, and it is mostly caused by the sun. And it's not usually a skin cancer that we worry about spreading to other parts of the body. The reason why melanoma is so deadly is that it can metastasize to other organs in the body. Basal cell very rarely does so. It usually just erodes the skin and the you know, organs around it. Most times, if we do a biopsy and we do find that it is a basal cell, a simple surgical procedure after that will be curative. Now, let's talk briefly about squamous cell cancer. Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most commonly diagnosed skin cancer in this country. About 800,000 cases will be diagnosed this year. Squamous cell can also be caused by the sun, but it's also caused by a number of other um, factors as well. Trauma, exposure to certain chemicals, burns, that sort of thing can certainly cause squamous cell carcinoma as well. So most importantly, we want to prevent these things from happening. So let's talk a little bit about prevention. First, sunscreen. The cornerstone of prevention of skin cancer is to wear a good sunscreen every day. There's a lot of conflicting information about sunscreen out there, but basically I advise all of my patients to wear an SPF of 30 on a daily basis, reapplying if they've been in the water or if they've been sweating, and also to wear protective clothing and hats as well. And the retinas are very vulnerable too, so we're recommending sunglasses Absolutely, as well. yeah. sunglasses and eye exams as needed, especially for those people who have very fair eyes. Thank you for being with us this month. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me.